Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous tutorial as you know that we have successfully displayed all the sent requests. So now a user can also uh, cancel the already sent request. Okay, And also we uh, worked on the received uh, chat request or you can say friend request in the very earlier video tutorials where a user can accept the uh, accept and cancel the chat request which uh, an online user or you can say a current user received from other users so you can see here that is i received uh, some i mean for a friend request from these beautiful girls and imagine if someday beautiful girls like rida for sarah sasha glenn and jennifer carter sent you a friend request i mean just imagine wow that will be that will be a really cool day and please don't mind this is just a joke okay so two sent request and for I mean it will display the sent and the receive request here on our request fragment. Now the most important and cool feature which we will add in this video tutorial is the online feature and the last scene of a user. So first of all we have to uh, we have to get the current date current time alongside with 12 hours format with m and pm and to get the stat or type that is the online stat and the offline stat in Firebase database and once we store that then with the help of that we will be uh, displaying the online and the last scene of a user online stat and the last scene of a user so yeah let's do that go to the end of studio and first of all we have our main activity go to the main activity and here on our main activity come down here and at the bottom what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another method so I can simply say private void and then you can simply type update user status and this will basically receive one uh, or, or parameter which will be of string data type and that will be the stat okay now first of all we have to get the current date so what I'm going to do now is here we need to uh, add basically get the current date and time so we can say we are going to create two string type variable the first one will be save current time and the other one will be the save current that and now we can say calendar let's give it a name as calendar equals to calendar dot get instance simple that format and we can give it a name as current that equals to new simple that format so we are going to specify the format of the date that is in which way we are going to get the date so first we want to get the month then the date and then we want to get the years okay so do it like that and now we have to save this current date inside this uh, save current date variable so we can say save current date uh, current date dot format calendar which is basically this one okay so copy this and pass that here dot get time so it will uh, save the get the uh, date in this format and it will store it inside the self current date uh, string type variable now we have to uh, do the same for the time and we have to specify the format for the time so copy paste this and we will change it for the uh, time so we can simply say current time equals to and now here let's first give the format for the time so we will be using 12 hours format with m and pm so we can simply say hh column mm which means minutes and then alongside m is the m and pm okay so 12 door format is just like that i mean the format for the 12 door format i mean the format for the 12 hours time now current time current time dot this and we have to store it inside the self current time now the next thing is to uh, save these data inside the database so we can say hash map string comma object equals to new hash map and make sure to give a, na a name to this hash map so we can say online stat and now by using this we can simply say online stat dot put you are going to put the data inside the database so the time and we have to pass the time save current time to it and then let's copy paste this 
the second one is the date and it is stored inside the self current date and then we have to specify the state okay and the state the state will be basically the online and offline state which we will get using this variable we will pass that here okay so remove this and pass this state variable to it so yeah that's it now we have to uh, get the current user id so that we can save all the uh, online state information inside the users not under the each specific user i mean for each specific user under the unique user id so to get the current user id come here above and here we have this current user emoth okay so let's create this is the user, uh, current user okay this is not the uh, uid so we are going to create a string type variable here so we can say string current user id and now by using this emoth we can get the id here down below so here we can say current user id equals to emoth dot get current user dot get uid now we need a reference so let's come here and we have a root reference okay so by using this root reference we are going to store the data inside the user node so here we can say root ref and we have a child i mean the parent node for all the users which is by the name users and then we are going to search for the specific user i mean to store the data so it is the current user id that is the user who is online dot child we are going to create a separate i mean uh, a node inside the unique user id for each user and that will be online or instead of that we can say user stat and user stat means basically the online or offline state and then we can say update dot update children and pass the map to it which is our this map okay online stat so pass that map to it let's give it a proper name and it should be map and replace this map with this one okay and also here and now put a semicolon here so yeah that's it now we have to update the online state and the offline state of the user okay so whenever the app starts okay first of all copy this and we will pass a variable i mean the state to it so come here to the on start method as you know that on start method is called whenever we run our app okay so whenever the main activity opens uh, or you can say the app starts then this method will be called and here if the current user is not equals to null which means inside this else statement then we will call this method which is uh, user uh, update user status okay so we will update the status and that will be online okay that's it now copy this and now we have uh, to implement it inside whenever the user minimize the app let me tell you first when the user minimize the app or let's say for any reason if the app crash then we have to update the uh, status of a user in that case also so for that we have a method called I mean to minimize the app we have this method on stop inside this on stop first of all we have to uh, do this thing okay that is to check the current user first so here we can say if current user not equals to null that is if the user is uh, login already okay then we will call this method so you know on the on stop method we are going to change this to offline and then in any case if the app crashes then in that case we are going to call another method which is on destroy so yeah that's all about now copy this and paste that here now let's run the app and we can tell uh, check the database alongside with it so the app is running now as you can see that and keep your eyes here also so here we go user stat and if i expand this then here you can see date which is the current date okay the stat which is online now and time 120 pm and here you can see this okay if i minimize the app then you can see it changes to offline and now if i run the i mean if i uh, 
do like I mean if I run the app like that okay again then here you can see it again turns to online so this is working fine I mean this is amazing now you can uh, test for all the users okay uh, I mean if you go to the find friends then there will be many other users so you can test it for all the users and yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that uh, we will uh, basically display the uh, last scene of a user and the online state of a user here and also on the uh, contacts which means that these are our friends here we will display the green dot just like you guys see in other chat apps and in whatsapp basically in whatsapp it is not uh, this functionality is not available but here we will display the green dot which means that this user is online now okay and also on our uh, chat activity where a user will send message to other users okay so here we will also display the receiver last scene so yeah that's it for this video and as i told you please check it for all the users which are available in your app okay so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now and uh, make sure to follow me on my twitter facebook and instagram account by this username thank you so much for watching